good, everybody? It's your boy Dox Forever. And we at the Members Only Podcast. Today we got a special guest. Goes by the name of Lady. How you doing, Lady? I'm good. How are you? Doing all right. Doing all right, man. Lady does a lot in the community. All different types of things. I, I brought her in because she, you know, she's just a bright light. And, a, and, a, and, you know, anytime Move Media needs something in terms of connections or, like, you know, any type of production services, Lady is always on point. But she does a whole lot more than that, you know what I mean? So I just wanted to bring her in to talk a little bit about what she does. How you doing? Tell us a little bit about what you do, man, other than, you know, hold down Move Media. You feel me? Yes, yes, definitely. Um, so thank you for having me. Um, uh, what I do, so I'm a case manager for a runaway and homeless crisis shelter. That's my nine to five. Um, I work for a runaway and homeless crisis shelter ages 16 to 20. And so providing guidance and support to our youth in need um, or at risk of homelessness. Um, and so that's that's what I do for day to day. That's crazy. There's a lot of people in a, how, how the homeless shelter, you know, looking right now as far as to anybody who doesn't, who's unaware of what it is to uh, actually be in that lifestyle. Is it, is it a, is it a hard situation as hard as we all might think it is? Or do you guys help out the homeless a lot more than people know? Yeah. Well, good question. Uh, yes, we actually do. Um, there's a lot of resources um, for our youth and um, we actually expanded from 21 to 24 because we um, realized that our youth are um, still homeless after 21. And so, yes, um, you know, and if you need those type of services, uh, we have drop in centers in every borough. Um, and we have five that are 24 hours. So you're in need and you're the ages uh, 16 to 24, you can actually go to a drop-in center and take a shower, get food, get resources, and a place to stay. You can stay overnight, um, but they will refer you to one of our programs, and um, we have a few in each borough. Um, that can support you, and they gear towards um, many many different services or needs um, for our youth. Um, so yeah, so drop in centers, and you'll get referred to um, hopefully me, right? Mm -hmm. And, and uh, where I work, um, and we support our youth, sixteen to twenty. Hundred so, yeah. percent. Well, you know, speaking about homeless people, America is a is a place where people think is is extremely wealthy. Uh, we would assume so that nobody would have to experience that type of homelessness and have to go to your one, one of your shelters. And I know if you heard a lot of horror stories, especially coming from the youth, and nobody would expect yes. a 16-year-old to be homeless because you think 16-year-olds have parents. Right? Yes. Um, yeah, we get a few that do have parents, actually. Right. Um, and I have some that drop them off. And, Who drops um, them off? The parents. I have some parents that drop them off. I have some parents that's not involved. I even have some parents that's not even in the state or the country, and they're 16 and 17. Um, you know, and it, it ranges, but uh, there's many different stories. And so I've been there almost 11 years, and I am uh, always hearing something new and different. Um, and so I'm always being creative and trying to find a way to help each individual because it's always case by case and um so yeah is there any foundations that people don't know about that are that are helping these youth like uh dycd what does that what is dycd so yeah so dycd is youth development um and they they help they though they're they're the ones who fund all these youth shelters and a lot of people don't know about it so we get a lot of you know, ACS workers or um, service providers that don't know about these services. And um, they don't, you know, so outreach is huge for us. And so what I do is monthly, I reach out to, you know, precincts and hospitals and colleges and high schools, um, clinics, um, even at Bronx Defender's Office, um, mm -hmm. just to let them know that we exist. Mm -hmm. And if you come across a youth ages 16 to 21, who who's at risk at homelessness or who has a home but it's not a therapeutic environment it's not an environment that they can live in um and they need to leave and so we get a lot of those calls all over um even from different countries which you'd be surprised yeah. um and they go through a certain service and then they come to us after and so yeah how'd you get into that 100 percent. like you no know, i come from a you know wild beginning in terms <laughs> of uh you know 
I, I wasn't homeless, but damn near close to it. You feel me? Yeah. So I, I always relate to people who come from, um, you know, certain situations, uh, not because of the struggle that they've been through, but the, the humility in a person. Mm. It, it, cha- it kind of, you know, gives you a certain demeanor. And uh, I kind of connect with those people. So I kind of, how did you get into helping homeless people? Do you have some type of something similar to me? So um, I got, uh, I was taken away at 12 uh, by ACS. Taken away, by ACS. Yes. And um, I went into the system. And um, even though it was a kinship, meaning family, um, picked me up and took me, um, it was still challenging for me. Um, and I remained in care until I was 21 because I felt like I didn't need to be adopted and um, I wanted to live independently. And so I remained in ACS until I was 21 until they helped me with my apartment and they helped me um, because I was a teen mom and uh, I stood with them and I actually work for that company now. So you, you was actually part of the system. I was part of the system. Now you work with the system. Yes, I do. So ACS helped you, everything helped you out. So they helped me out, yes. And um, I had an g- amazing social worker, and uh, she she did a lot for me. Um, and I looked up to her, and I wanted to make a difference and um, do what she did for me, for, wow. to you know, for our community. And so I went to the same company, and I said, you know, I want to work for you guys. And they said, well, go get your bachelor's degree and come back. And I said, okay. So I got my bachelor's degree, and I walked up to the HR office. At the time, she was a social worker. She was now the director of HR. Mm, and so wow. when I came back, and I was just like, I, I got my degree. You said, you said it. And she gave me the job. Wow. Immediately, she said, you know, well, I'm a, I'm, I'm a you know, volunteer first, see how you like it, and then we'll hire you. Yeah. And that's exactly what she did. That's and crazy. she hired me four or five months after. She said, I can't continue to let you, you know, do it volunteer work. You, yeah. I got to pay you. Yeah. And so from there on, 11 years in, um, and we have done amazing work. And nice. um, in 2014, they, they chose five people to start a crisis program, uh, 30 to 120 days. And uh, they chose me to be one of the five to open up the program. Okay, And so now, yeah, it's just amazing. And now we got 24-bed facility, and, you know, we're running. And uh, for five years, uh, we have zero findings. Um, So that means that we have been doing very well for the last five years. And and I want to continue the work. 100%, man. Like, respect to all the people that are are, are, going through that situation and, you know, homelessness. Uh, it's not always crazy people yeah. or people that you think didn't have great jobs at one time. Like, you never know anybody's situation. I don't think you should ever look down on anybody. You know what I mean? So, uh, respect to them. And, you know, if you if you go into a situation like that, holla at lady. You know what I mean? What's your information? Mm-hmm. How can people get in contact with yeah, you? Yeah, definitely. Um, lady Palm, L-A-Y-D-E-E-P-O-M. Um, but definitely, if you're in that situation, you can... Google drop-in centers and go to a drop-in center and they will refer you based on your age, the situation you in, um, and you would definitely be referred to one of our programs in any one of the boroughs. Nice, nice. Um, other than that, not to switch it off too crazy, but I know you do a lot of other things, lady. I want to get it all in right now. Yeah, definitely. No pun intended. But um, let's. can you tell us a little bit about your business that you just started? I heard you just started yes, an independent yes. business. So well, I, entrepreneur um, and all that. <laughs> yes. Um, so besides the prior businesses that I've had, um, to mention Underground Artistry was a great success, um, five years strong. Um, and you could definitely look us up at Underground Artistry. Uh, my business partner and I started it five years ago um, where we created a platform for designers, artists, music producers, DJs, you know, you name it. It was a platform for everyone. Um, and so that was great. And so now I created Honeybee Services um, seven weeks ago, actually. Okay. And um, I started that, uh, I started with catering and food, actually. Um, I was told uh, 
by many people that I cook very well. And so I, can't I was wait just to like, taste some of your cooking. <laughs> so I said, oh, let me let me just try this. And my first day, I tripled my money. And I was just like, whoa. And then I just, every Sunday, I make it a Sunday thing. I, I start cooking at 5 in the morning. And it's my seven week. And it's been doing very well. So it's food. So it's food, but Catering. it's also lady does a little bit of everything right and so um even behind the scenes with music production and um and photo shoots and um artist development um and i'm also behind um new york city rap stars so you can definitely look at that and um doing a lot of work with them videos and collabing with um different artists um beanie we just did a beanie seal you know uh feature and All also right. beanie seal, benny salute. benny the butcher we just benny did a uh, yeah definitely we just did a, a feature with um him and so we're working you know I'm, yeah i'm a little bit of uh, all over but honeybee um is is very dear to me i'm trying to brand myself and um you know so yeah so cooking was a start off yeah um but it's doing very well so that's crazy where can yeah. uh anybody get those services from if they want to get some honeybee catering in, <laughs> get some amazing food <laughs> Like, I'm hungry right now. You're making me hungry talking about all that food. Where can uh, they get that stuff? So, um, right now, I'm building everything. It's just seven weeks in. Um, but uh, Lady Palm, right, is the IG. How and do you, you spell can, that? So, it's L-A-Y-D-E-E. -E, and then P-O-M. P-O-M was the very first business that I started. It's peace of mind. Um, and you can definitely DM me. Um, every Sunday, I post uh, my menu early in the morning. Um, I do um, do deliveries, but definitely not to Brooklyn. <laughs> oh damn! All right, I guess I guess no <laughs> but, food um, for me. But we're working on that. You know, Shit. we're very new, yeah. so we only I do the Bronx. Travel all the way to the Bronx. Yes, to get a plate. yes. Um, <laughs> God, yeah, damn. I know, I know. But we're working on that. Yeah. You know, we just started, so that's just one of the services in Honeybee. Um, Honeybee is, is just a few things. Um, if you need some assistance with video shoots, if you need some assistance with photo shoots, um, I do a little bit of all. You know, for 10 years before the show, before Honeybee, um, it was Palm. And um, I was uh, managing artists mm. and uh, doing artist development. And so helping artists and, um, you know, with their careers. And uh, wow. so that that was before then. So, you know, I do a little bit. Event planning is something that I do as well. And that was a part of underground artistry. So Honeybee is a little bit of everyone, not just catering. Facts. Um, so, yeah. So one thing I, I do notice about you is, uh, you know, it's not it's, it's rare to find somebody that's like inspired to do all these things that you do. You know, uh, most people kind of like are settled, settled in to normal normalcy or not really being active at a lot of things and uh, i know that's not easy like so you know what what kind of inspires you to really you know get up because i know you know every day isn't perfect for you you have bad yeah. days just like any human being has bad yeah. days but you, you always have a bright smile on your face you're very energetic and you're ready to go get them you know what i mean so what kind of keeps you going always um i'm always even with a bad day um i keep a smile on my face because um I change lives. Mm. I change lives, and that's what motivates me every single day. Um, you know, in the youth, uh, getting feedback from the youth, and you know, them telling me that, and them saying, you know, I have hope and motivation to continue, even after being in a crisis situation. Um, that helps me um, get up every single morning. Um, uh, along with my two children, you mm. know, that motivate me to continue. Um, to do the work that I do, you know, um, is very satisfying um, and life changing. And so, you know, helping teens take charge of their life, that's the next generation. Mm. So I, I feel very powerful doing it. Um, and I see the results. Yeah. And I think that's what's more um, satisfying for me that I see the results. And, um, and that's what gets me up every single day. You know, um, I'm it. I'm going to make it happen, whether, you know, it's just me standing alone. Um, and, you know, with a team is better, you know, but that that vision is just, it gets me up every single day. Unstoppable. Unstoppable. Well, we need you know? we need a lot more people in our communities like you, lady, and yeah. I want to commend you uh, for doing everything that you've done so Thank far. You. And I know you're going to have, like, amazing things that you're going to do in the future. So salute to that. 
and I got a question I want to ask you. Uh, something mm-hmm. that we do here at Move Media. Uh, it's for, called five. I don't really have a theme for it right now, but it's five people at the table, right? Oh, so you get to pick. Um, every night when you go home, end of the day, you had a busy day. You get to pick five people to sit at the table that you can get to reflect with or get some advice from. And it could be celebrities. It could be people from the past that have died. It could be anybody, right? It could be a family member. So give me the person that is in a seat number one and why he's in that or her, why they would be in that seat. Mm. The number one person that I could think of when, as you was talking is Jay-Z. Okay. And why? Uh, very inspiring, motivational, um, especially from where he came from mm-hmm. um, and what he has accomplished. So what kind of advice would you ask, like, get from Jay-Z? Like, what's, what, would be, what would be his purpose at your table? Just uh, what would be his purpose at, at my table? Yeah. Um, guidance and support and how, you know, to get gain some guidance and support from him on how he was able to manage that, you know, um, working with so many individuals, um, you know, new visions and being able to accomplish so much. Um, you know, there's still a lot of things I need to learn as much as I've done. I still need a lot to, you know, um, to learn, but, uh, I look up to him. Um, he is my mentor Mm. and, um, I um I think I would learn a lot from him, so that's why I would choose him. Okay. Um. Yeah, and he's so in, in a little one. bit of everything, right? Yeah. You know. So <laughs> yeah. So he dibbles and dabbles, and just like me, his mindset. Right. But uh, you know, yeah, definitely. Number one, we got Jay. Whole salute. Who will be the second person at that table? Uh, the second person. Um. Mm. Past, present, My grandfather. Future. And what would be his uh, purpose at that table? Uh, he has been in, um, one of the people uh, in my life that has motivated me um, a lot. He was always proud. Um, and is, he's not here with us today. But he, um, he has always shown his, um, his gratitude and has always, you know, motivated me to continue to do the work that I do and always praised me. And um, that motivated me to continue my work as well. You know, he was proud of me and he showed me off. And, um, you know, and so I, I would love to sit down and talk to him and tell him, look, look at me now, you know, um, yeah. look what I have done for the family. So definitely him. Okay. I would love to talk to him. Again. That's fire. That's fire. Yeah. Grandpa salute, man. R.I.P. Yeah. I know you up there watching him right now. Yeah. And uh, who would be that third person? Um, Martin Luther King. Um, I look up to him. Um, we have the same birthday. And um, I always believe, like, I am the female version of him. Mm. Um, you know, Capricorn season's coming, by the way. <laughs> and uh, <laughs> but uh, yes, uh, just what you know, his movement and what he was about. Um, and I stand with him, and um, you know, very powerful, and just you know, just to talk to him um, and guidance on, you know, like what's happening today in our world, you know, and. Um, yeah, so Dr. Martin Luther King, definitely. Martin King, R.I.P. I love to meet always him. Always an influence, you know what I mean? Like, we yeah. always keep him in our, our prayers and our memories and, you know, hopefully hopefully we represent him the right way as much as we can yes, individually because as a whole, we can't say we are, but individually, mm-hmm. I am and you are. Mm-hmm. Uh, the fourth person. Malcolm X, right? And so Malcolm X was the opposite of Dr. Martin Luther King. Um, I'm a little bit of both in a sense um but uh definitely he was definitely in inspirational and motivational and um created this movement um that impacted the world and so just uh just that alone i would love to sit down and talk to him and get his uh world view um around his time and his age right mm. um but yeah 
Malcolm X. Okay. Yeah. Let's get the the, the final last one. Oh let's make God. it a female because you got a lot Whew. of males. I don't want I don't want people to think so, that you you know. Let's get a female. I know, in there. right? Um, female. You know, I'm you know I'm going off a of dome, right? So yeah. I'm going off of who Which, was, yeah. who's in my brain and who I think about most. Uh, yeah. Female. Uh, so I can tell you don't rock with females. Oh, so Oprah. Oprah, Oprah is uh, someone I um, I look up to. It's a lot of powerful um, people right in that group. She has done a lot. Yeah, she has done a lot. Um, very inspiring as well. And um, she motivates me. I just got Will Smith's book because of her. You know, mm. so I listen to her a lot. And um, I read a lot. And she yeah. reads a lot. Yeah. And so, and she talks about how important reading is. And so... Yeah, Oprah. I would love to sit down and talk to Oprah. You know. Dope. Um, I mean, that bring it to exi- bring it into existence. You got to yes, talk it up. Yes, yes. I would love me? to talk to her. Yeah. Um, that would be amazing, actually. Um, but so yeah. Oprah, that's Oprah's the fifth. Hit lady up, man. Stop yes. playing. Come to the hood. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But yeah, man. I want to appreciate you. Show you that. You no, know, we appreciate you here at Move Media. Yeah. Uh, we want to thank you for coming through. You know what I mean? Thank keep you for keep being. Me. Yeah, no problem. Keep being a bright light in a community that people need, and uh, you know, keep helping these kids coming up in, in these rough times, man. They, yes. they, they def like me coming up. I, you know, I don't know if I had a lady right there, that would have been great. I mean, no pun intended mm-hmm. again. I wish it exists when I was young too. You I didn't saying? know about it either. But yeah, yeah, hundred percent. Yeah, yes. man. So we exist. Hundred <laughs> percent. So we gonna shout y'all out anytime we have an event. You can check check us out and Lady will pop up, you know, you know, giving giving you more information about what she does. We're gonna continue to promote what she does. Can you give them a little contact info real quick? Yes, yeah, so uh Lady Palm, L A Y D E E. Um and that's also my Gmail, L A Y D E P O M at Gmail. And we out of here, man. Members only podcast, deuces.